I've told you many times, if, if you're elected by a group of your peers, that's probably the greatest honor you can, you can have. And, and uh, this is our business, and I think this is, you hit the pinnacle. And I want to say, um, when you see this video, you'll be able to say, I am in the Hall of Fame. Famous explorers Lewis and Clark camped in southern Washington near what is now the city of Pasco. This is where Guy West Levitt was born in 1950. Guy was the first of Rita and Harley Levitt's three children. The family moved to Phoenix when Guy was seven. He spent his childhood there and attended Phoenix College. Guy obtained his pilot's license just after high school and flew his dad's plane transporting employees and parts for the family carnival named H.A. Levitt Attractions. Guy worked for his parents until they sold their show in 1974. Looking for a new carnival home, Guy lined up three interviews. Ray Kamek was the first. He became the Kamek Show's ride supervisor and a partner in the Kittyland rides. Two years later, Guy married Ray and Beryl's youngest daughter, Charlene. Ray's route included the Canadian Bee Circuit until 1980, when he bought the Fraser Show and headed to Arizona and New Mexico. After Ray's untimely death in 1983, Guy and Charlene purchased RCS. Times were a-changing and contracts were tough, so Guy and Charlene looked west. At a meeting in Las Vegas in 1984, Ralph Hines of the Los Angeles County Fair joined with Guy and Charlene in a new carnival vision. The Grand Wheel, Chance Carousel, Super Rope were purchased in time for the fair. Red and yellow canvases, landscaping, theming and seating called RCS Midway Beauty was debuted. Guy and Charlene say they got lucky. The fair and their vision was a success. Guy's dad died in a car accident in 1985. Guy, Charlene, and Rita agreed to make the Great Western Carnival part of RCS in 1987. The RCS of today is the remarkable amalgamation of separate shows owned by Guy and Charlene's parents. More fairs and events believed in their business philosophy, and the RCS route included more stops in Arizona and California. Beryl was very active and coached Guy and Charlene until she passed in 1991. Rita continued to work on the family carnival in the office until her death in 2002. RCS was hired by the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. There were some who told Guy he was crazy to drive 1,200 miles each way in February for a single date in Texas. Guy even wondered himself. But today, Houston attendance has grown to over 2.5 million people. RCS is a big operation centered by family. Five of Guy and Charlene's children and four sons-in-law work there. Other key managers include Guy's brother Mark and Charlene's sisters Delia and Linda and her husband Bill. Guy and Charlene have 17 grandchildren. Guy is a Mason, a Shriner, and a Lutheran. He has visited Mexico six times to help build homes for the underprivileged. Guy's passion is his family. Together they travel, sail, bike, ski, hunt, and even skydive. Guy has driven in the Mille Miglia race in Europe and is headed to Gumball this summer. Guy Levitt has served as the president of the Showman's League St. Louis and the Arizona Showman's Association and board member of the IAFE. He and Charlene earned the Barham Award from Western Fairs and were inducted into the Hall of Fame at the Los Angeles County and Pima County Fairs. Guy and RCS have received awards for their innovations and safety records from Area and Ames, and RCS associates were the leading teachers at the Ames Seminar in 2014. You've spent your time and your money helping people, upgrading our industry time after time after time. His leadership contributions to the Outdoor Amusement Business Association have been truly exceptional. He is a 12-year board member, was chairman in 2006, 
was the spiritual leader of the Foundation of the Future and Circle of Excellence initiatives, both signature programs of the OABA and a sculptor of the New Age OABA Contribution Fund Plan, which is a program that finances critical OABA industry activities. Guy demands planning, objectives, deadlines, and accountability. He attracts new leadership, resulting in the election of diverse and outstanding directors and officers, including the first chairman from the fair industry, Wayne McCary. Guy has no fear in addressing the thorny issues of the industry and demands action. The RCS family uh, and of course his wife Charlene have been wonderful to our trade association and we certainly enjoy everything they do to promote and protect and preserve this great industry. Karnak the Magnificent! <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hold in my hands the envelopes. A child of four can see these envelopes are hermetically sealed. Sealed in the possum belly of a Ray Kamek semi since noon today. No one knows the contents of these envelopes, but you in your divine and borderline mystical way will ascertain the answers, having never before seen the question. If Karnak has any time left, he will do that. Envelope number one. I will divine <laughs> the answer to the question. Medically sealed. I have not seen the question. Nope. It's inside here. Sunken Wagnalls. Four. <laughs> a strip, fillet, and a patty. Guy has not eaten red meat in 30 years. Jeans, the Smurfs, and the Blue Man Group. Guy's favorite color is blue, but... He only drives red cars. <laughs> Shave and a haircut. Two bits. <laughs> Guy's oldest daughter, Jody, is the only person who trims his hair. Sundays with Chef Boyardee. <laughs> when he is on the road, Guy cooks breakfast every Sunday for over 40 guests. Hey, let's sneak out and have a pizza. <laughs> Guy, it's Dominic, your favorite son-in-law. I wanted to go on record saying that in front of everybody. As you can see by the blue coat, we're all involved in some way, uh, and you kind of led the way for us with the OABA. Congratulations going into the Hall of Fame. The OABA and our board of directors are very, very pleased and, and uh, enjoy all that RCS and the RCS family do for the OABA. Thank you very much and congratulations. Hey Dad, we just wanted to say congratulations and that we love you and that we think it's so cool that you got an award like this. Congratulations. Bye. Hey, Grandpa. We love you. Charlene did a very, very good job teaching you. Thank you. And today, the OABA inducts Guy West Lovett into the 2014 Outdoor Amusement Business Association Hall of Fame. <laughs>